Hey guys, it's Brad. Got another weekly 42 burpees video for you. And today I will be doing my burpees with Miss Jill Baird. But first, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave us a comment below. So you see me wrapping up with the Clarksville Barbell Club Four Red Lines wrist wraps. Miss Jill Baird also ordered a pair. She's a proud owner and she is loving them. So head over to her channel, subscribe, and ask her what she thinks of them. So the past few weeks, I've been doing 42 burpees since my 42nd birthday for time. Uh, my best time so far is right at three minutes. Today, I wanted to see how many I could do unbroken. And spoiler alert, Jill kicks my butt. Also, this day I discovered why you burpee guys always do one extra just in case. Uh, because I lost count and ended up only doing 41 burpees. The very first burpee workout I ever did was on my birthday. Well, it was actually two days after my birthday, uh, four weeks ago. And my pattern for getting 42 was 10, 10, 10, 12. Uh, the next week I did, I think I did 12, 10, 10, 10. The third week, I did 20, 10, 12. This week, I wanted to see how many I could get unbroken, so I did not go for time. Um, and you can skip to the end of this video if you feel like it, but you'll see that Jill beat me on time and <laughs> how many she did unbroken. I only ended up with 41 burpees at the end of this video. Uh, I thought I did 30 unbroken when it was actually 29. Um, I am not good at keeping count of sets, reps, any of that stuff. Anybody who's followed me for any length of time knows that. And I'm also trying to go at a sustainable pace with these. I usually try to go as fast as possible and get really burnt out every 10. Uh, the sustainable pace was just as hard, but for a different reason. So my legs are what give out on these. And so my push up stays strong. My breath stays kind of okay at this pace. At the fast pace, it doesn't. I'm breathing hard after every 10. Uh, but my legs are actually what gives me the most problem on these with the high rep squatting. So I've noticed that some people, when they do their burpees, really jump back into it and their legs are fully extended and they just kind of do a good morning to stand up. And I notice that when I do my burpees, I pull my legs in and I'm in like this deep squat position that you see there, like um, butt to heels. And I don't know if I need to change that. You burpee guys can let me know what you think. Um, but it, it may be why my legs are wearing out faster than everything else because I, I tuck my knees. Well, yeah, I've said it, you've seen it. There it is. So I, I come into, and that was 29, but I thought it was 30. I'm actually going to do a little hand sign here in a second where, yeah, I'm like, that was 30 unbroken. I thought it was a PR. Well, it was a PR, but it was only 29 unbroken. So still something to celebrate this day. Um, and I guess any day we can get up in the morning, have two cups of coffee, go down to our little home gym setup, and knock out some training is a good day. But you see Jill there in the background. I'm still uh, trying to get through it. and She's already done talking about how awesome the wrist wraps are. And uh, <laughs> head over to her channel subscribe to it. She does a lot of yoga, Pilates, Tabata timed circuit training, body weight, kettlebell, uh, weighted exercises. And she has a ton of great content on her channel. Um, I keep telling her that I'm going to do one of her workouts and I am, she has some incredible movements, uh, that she walks through. And then she also taught me what the eye of your elbow was. And see here, I'm saying I only have four more when in fact I had five more and didn't know it. 
So I didn't know that the eye of your elbow was, I don't know what I called this, like your elbow armpit or your elbow crease, the inside of your elbow. Um, but I guess in, in yoga, it's called the eye of your elbow. And I just think that is awesome. And um, it, it just goes to show you that you learn something, even if it's not your style of training, uh, it's really cool to follow other people, see what they're doing and, and learn something new. All right, guys, that's it for today. Keep training, and I'll see you in the next video.